I've been selling candy for the last four years, but now I'm retired, so I'm trying to teach y'all how to sell candy without getting caught. Your bag is the most important thing. Um, you don't want it to look like you're selling candy. So if you play sports, you can use a big duffel bag and that'll work because it won't be too obvious. Um, but if you don't play sports, just use a regular backpack, like a second backpack. Uh, try not to make it too sketchy. Number two, to not get caught. Always have your head on a swivel. So whenever you're selling, make sure that you're like you you about to sell something before you do. You look around, you're like, all right, no teachers, no security, no police. You gotta make sure there's no one around except for students. And if there are, just just don't even sell. Like just completely stay away from teachers. is It's a good point of view to just always have. Number three, stay away from selling the snitches. You know who I'm talking about. It's like the the super smart ones who, who are like teacher pets. So if you sell to them, they'll be like, Uh, Mrs. Principal, um, this dude's selling candy and I don't like it. And I'm sure you don't either. And then you can't sell and yeah. So just don't sell to those people, the smart snitch teacher pet ones. Just don't do it. Stay away from them. It's good. Just don't. Don't sell in class. Uh, if someone asks you, like, during lecture, like, yo, dude, can I get, like, some Kit Kats? Or, like, can I get some chips, bro? Just be like, nah, man, just wait a couple minutes. Wait till class is over. I'll hook you up. Um, and if they're, like, really bugging you, just just keep, hold, hold your ground. Don't let them convince you, because then what will happen is you'll be like, I broke his your chips. And chips are so loud. Everything's so loud. They'll be like, <laughs> and then the teacher will be like, Anthony, go to the principal's office. And then no more money for you. So just don't sell in class. Sell in high traffic areas. So like in the halls, if everyone's moving and it's kind of like surrounding you from keeping teachers from seeing you, or like if you're in like a big like student union where all the students go to in between classes or just like if there's a break, sell right there. Cause one, there's more people. And while you're selling, they'll be like, oh, hey, he got some chips. I want some more money for you. And two, there's more people that are surrounding you. So it'll be harder for teachers to see you if there are any. Because if there's more people, there's most likely gonna be a teacher, or admin, or like some security, making sure that nothing bad happens. So once again, go back to number one, you gotta always have your head on a swivel looking around for them teachers and security guards. Bonus tip. If it's lunchtime, don't be obvious. Or like, just sit down, adapt to however everyone else is. Just in general, don't be stupid whenever you're selling. If you have the least bit of common sense, you'll be fine and you won't get caught, all right? So like, if it's lunchtime, everyone is sitting down. Unless you're at like some crazy school, it don't really matter if you're gonna be selling, they won't really care if you're selling. Everyone's gonna be sitting down. So if someone like waves you over to the table, just bring your bag, go sit down, and then just sell to everyone at the table, all right? Because then you're sitting down, you look like you're just eating lunch, really you're making that dough so pretty much just don't be stupid but if you do get caught you can sell before or after school that's what i did for a little bit but then i got caught doing that and um and now i'm not even gonna sell anymore at all because they they get really mad at me but you can also sell in between classes and in between classes i would highly recommend just hit it up in the bathroom or have like one position bathroom that everyone knows about so like in between classes, you're in there just chilling for a couple minutes and everyone just comes in there and you sell in there. Because in there, all the teachers are going to be in the classrooms, not the bathroom. So you're chilling there. So yeah, so that's, that's how you sell without getting caught. So now all you got to do is go watch my other videos up there on how to actually sell and what's the best candy to sell so you can make this dough.